if you were to come into some inheritance in Canada today, you would not pay any tax on it. And there are some people who are calling for that to change. Arguing Canada should be taking 45% of inheritance over $5 million. Canada right now, the only G7 country that does not have an inheritance tax. The rest of the G7 have inheritance taxes of 40% or more for large sums like these. We're talking about the UK, the United States, Italy, Germany, Japan, France. Our next guest has written an opinion piece in the Huffington Post arguing it is time for Canada to make a change. Joining me now is Davidi Mastrashi. Good to have you here with us this morning. Uh, okay, why do you think this is a good idea? Um, so my article is based yeah. on new research for the Canadian Centre for Policy Alternatives. And they found that if you tax wealth at 45% with more than $5 million for the inheritance, that you could bring in $2 billion annually. Um, and that money could be used for a whole bunch of social programs. Uh, and this would help to basically work towards eliminating the massive wealth disparity that there is in Canada. The big question that comes up is, why do we need it? If, if you have a hard time convincing people to part with their money, especially people who have a lot of money. Yeah, well, um, again, the wealth disparity is massive, but we shouldn't really see this as like a punishment on people with a lot of wealth. Um, it's actually just a way to help get back some of the money that they don't pay throughout their lives because super rich people are the ones that are the most able to avoid paying taxes, and they do that through a bunch of different ways. Yeah, they have access to you know, different accountants and, and loopholes and things like that. However, is that money, isn't there already a tax paid on that amount of money before it's passed off as an inheritance? Um, this is like something on top of that, and it's something that we see in all the other G7 countries. So it's not something radical or new. It's something that's actually tried and is very effective in other countries. So, for example, in 2016 in the U.S., um, it applied to 0.2% of the population, and they brought in 18 billion. So this is something that most Canadians will be interested in. Most Canadians that don't have the 5 million right. coming their way. Uh, w what are some of the arguments for, for not having it? For, not ha for keeping things the way they are at? Like, what would mm -hmm. be some of the benefits of not doing this tax? Well, when they got rid of it in 1972, um, they thought instead they would implement a capital gains tax and that this would be able to kind of, um, you know, take the money that they would lose from the inheritance tax. But it didn't actually work out that way. It ended up being a tax break on the rich. Um, so the other methods that they've tried to basically bring in similar amounts of money haven't worked, but the arguments for them was that they would be able to do it without taxing at death. But just, it just hasn't worked. Is it fair for somebody who's inheriting the money to then have to pay the tax on it? What about taxing it more heavily before the person passes away? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I would be, definitely be open to having you know, greater taxes um, while people are alive but that's just not the case right now. So doing it um, at death is one easy way to help get some of this money back that the super rich avoid paying. And it's just taken at the moment of inheritance. So, I mean, even in the worst case scenario, if you were inheriting um, 5 million, you would still get more than 2.5 million of that. It's true what they say, you cannot avoid death or taxes. Yeah. Okay, thanks, good to have you here. Thank you.